So Paragonic Bays, the heart of Tanya, says like this. When the Gair went to Hillelazak and asked him, tell me the whole Torah. Why did he say the whole Torah is out of Israel? Don't do it to someone where you don't want done to The Edith Perusha and everything else is just an amplification of that. So the Balatanya explains that the reality is we are all one. We radiate into different bodies. So down here on this physical plane, we feel separate from each other. But in our source, we're one. The Jewish people are singular on the top and plural on the bottom. Down here in Elam Hazer, we radiate into different bodies, different containers, and so we feel separate from each other. So on the bottom, there's plurality, but on the top, in our source, we're all one. But in order to be in touch with that, you have to transcend the body. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. So how do we transcend the body? Because essentially the Balatanya says every mitzvah is an act of self-transcendence. In order to do Hashem's will instead of whatever it makes me comfortable, I have to be able to rise above my animalistic, selfish desires, my bodily needs and desires, and I have to see myself and my purpose as something greater, as something transcendent. So how do I rise above myself? Because all of it is a shadow, essentially, is this one act of rising above self, getting over the ego, the EGO, the edging God out, the connected with the consciousness of the body, and still connected to consciousness of Hashem and of our true identity. So how do I get up out of this condition? A lot of times this is very easy. How does this flow? <laughs> because in order to truly love another Jew, you have to get over your false self and recognize your true self. There's no other way. He says, oh, you're going to tell me that I know people who aren't so transcendent. They're not so spiritual, and they love each other. So about that, says, I'm talking about real love. Not Ava, a plea of a dove. Conditional love. See, when one body meets another body, they're all self-concerned. Each of them is self-concerned. And they'll only love each other if there's a trade-off. What's in it for me? So that's not real love. And as, as I'll tell us, when you have such a love that's dependent on a factor, when the factor becomes bottle, the love disappears as well. It wasn't real love. <laughs> you love me or are you using me? You love what you get out of me. A body-centered person can only love, I say in quotes, in that kind of way, which isn't real love at all. By the time you explain that to really love somebody unconditionally, to love them in a way that there's nothing they can do to make that love go away, and there's nothing they have to do in order to earn that love, the only way to have that kind of unconditional love is to see the other as a soul. And even that's not enough because first you have to see yourself as a soul. And then when you'll you see yourself as a soul, and you'll see them as the soul, and then you realize that you're really all the same soul, you're one spiritual energy radiating into two separate bodies, now you can love them. So the Ramatanya explains that's what Hillel was saying, that basically all of Toya is self-transcendence, and the most direct path to self-transcendence 
is loving another Jew. Not because you like something about them, not because what they can do for you, but because they are you. I can put him up there. You're called, you collectively, the Jewish people are called one God with millions of bodies. One God. And whatever happens to the right hand happens to the left hand. The Jews are not a people, they're a person. And that means that if one of my brothers or sisters didn't light the night of tonight, then I haven't written a letter tonight. And this is just Siddhis. This is our voice. When we received the title, we received guarantorship for every other Yid's mitzvah. Here's what I want to tell you, Lakewood. When you finish diving shackles and you take off your filling, when's the next time you touch your filling? The next morning? How's that possible? What if you meet a Jew who didn't put on filling yet today? You don't put your filling away in Toshkia. You can dive in the sea. Dive in with the next. I did it. But your children come with you in the car. Don't have to also bring the bed of time. It's just a rush. It's okay. But you bring your children with you to work. You have a business meeting. You bring your children. You're going up uh, to the city. You're going to New York. You bring your children. A lot of Jews in New York. They don't put on film. And until every Jewish man in New York puts on filling, you and I didn't put on filling. And when it comes to this, and you guys Lulav, Lulav is in Kilskia. You go out, you go to the zoo, whatever you do. What are you doing following trips in Lakewood? You go out, you go to zoo, whatever you do. You bring your Lulav. Lulav is in Toshkia. And come to Hanukkah. The young Hanukkah is coming up. You order yourself a few tin and items. And if you're too classy for tin, no problem. I'm going to have a bunch of nice ones. No one will stop you. And you bring those with you. And you ask a question. Excuse me, are you Jewish? Do you have a menorah? I'm going to help you out. Here's a menorah. But you have to promise to light it every night. This isn't a bonus. This isn't extra. This isn't something that we do to enhance our Yiddish type. This is basic Yiddish type. This isn't somebody else's roughness. This is my roughness. Because ultimately, we're not a people, we're a person. And therefore, every single one of us matters. Every single one of us. Every single one of us is dependent on each other. And call me to him, and we elevate our field to the inlet. Even if the teacher of the year is limited to him, which it should be. You start to dive in, right? Okay? You start to do business. Okay? So when you go to do business, you bring your filling. And in an extra 30 seconds, okay, it won't be 30 seconds the first time you do it. <laughs> but you'll get it down. <laughs> you'll get it to a point where you can do it in 30 seconds. Because we are literally all one. And it's becoming increasingly clear. <laughs>